So I'm here in Hawaii, not on holiday, but to check out the Snapdragon Summit 2024. And here's everything you need to know about all the new tech with Snapdragon. So the summit is split into three days. Day one is where they announce the mobiling and computing side of things. This is where you get the Snapdragon 8 Elite with the Orion CPU. Now day two is all about automotive. So AI with automotive and all the power you get from the Snapdragon chips. Now day three was basically just AI talks, the integration of AI in these processors. And of course we had the benchmarking scores for all the mobiling side and the computing side as well. Now this was my first Snapdragon Summit and based on last year's announcement, they actually got to try out some really cool stuff here in person and that's what I expected and they did deliver. So I tried some of the cool new features like the AI relighting tool, which is a live light that you can move around in real time and use that in video calls and stuff like that, which is very, very impressive. Last year we had the AI object eraser for photos and this time they added the AI object eraser for videos, which works with both static and moving videos. Unfortunately, I didn't get a full sample for this, but I did see other people who got it and this looks incredible. Snapdragon 8 Elite is Qualcomm's latest chip designed to make your smartphone smarter, faster, and way more efficient. It's the fastest mobile CPU in the world with clocking speeds going up to 4.32 gigahertz. You get a 45% better performance and longer battery life up to two and a half hour more when it comes to game. This means not only is the overall performance of your phone a lot snappier and more responsive, but also gaming is gonna be a lot more improved in terms of processing and also battery life. Now in terms of AI enhancements, you're gonna be getting a better AI assistant, faster real-time translation, and also image processing. It's able to give you exactly what you need when you need it without any kind of cloud dependency or latency. You're getting 40% better graphics performance and better battery efficiency. You can expect console level visuals complete with realistic lighting, shadows, and effects. All thanks to its ray tracing. Basically, if you're a mobile gamer, you're gonna have a mini console in your pocket. Now, as far as the camera is concerned, the AI-powered features like limitless segmentation improves photos by analyzing and enhancing up to 250 layers in a single shot. Other features also include things like pet capture, so it captures the right moment in time for your pets, also object removal in video using AI, and better nighttime videos. You can also expect better 5G connections and Wi-Fi 7 with this, which improves your connectivity in general, even in crowded places with faster speeds, but also improves your location accuracy by significant amount. Now, another crazy thing that we've seen is the improvement with on-device AI. None of this is really cloud-based at all. It's all on-device, which makes it obviously more safe, but also opens up the possibility for other things as well, like AI involvement in financing and banking, which we've never seen before. So stuff like you see something you like online, you can ask the AI to just find out whether you have enough balance to buy it, and then it'll buy it for you if you ask it to. It is very dystopian, and I'm sure people will question it, especially when it comes to finance, but it is something that a lot of people are gonna benefit from. Oh, by the way, they also showcased the Snap Spectacles. Now, these things are super cool. They're kind of like AR, but mixed reality headsets that allow you to see elements on top of everything you're already looking at. This was a pretty interesting experience. There's a small window you look through, and then you can actually see all the AR objects within there. Very, very cool. The ability for the Snapdragon chip to actually capture area around you and figure out depth information just based on that is very impressive. And this was just a developer prototype. I can't wait to see what actually comes out. Now Qualcomm also launched two new automated platforms. You're getting the Snapdragon Cockpit Elite for the infotainment system and also the Snapdragon Ride Elite for the automated driving system. Now thanks to the Snapdragon Ride Elite, you're getting an AI assistant built into your car whose sole purpose is to make your life easier. So finding parking spots for you, it'll tell you that this building has no more parking spots. How about you get down, I'll go park the car for you. Like we saw this demonstration and this was insane. You're also getting things like proper conversational speaking with your car. You don't need to remember the exact voice command to do certain things. So you can say things like, I'm feeling really hot, so it'll turn the air conditioning down. I mean, generally, it feels like you're actually talking to a person rather than a machine. The Orion CPU offers three times faster processing. The new AI engine offers 12 times more power than ever before, helping with everything from navigation to voice commands. It can handle multiple apps and services at the same time without slowing down thanks to the visualization technology. Essentially giving you a lag-free experience even with your infotainment system. It also handles advanced driving features such as adaptive cruise control, lane assist, and self-parking. The new platform also supports 40 plus sensors for 360-degree monitoring, which helps with collision avoidance, driver alerts, and more. 
Now with the 360 degree monitoring, we actually got a demo for this and it's actually incredible. Like in real time, it creates a 3D model of your car and shows you every angle of it. You can actually move around that as if a drone's flying around your car. Now, unfortunately, I won't be able to cover everything I saw here because otherwise this video would be like crazy long. So we're gonna have some articles linked down below for you guys to read more about everything Qualcomm is offering with Snapdragon. Honestly, I think it's insane how big a leap AI has taken in just a year. This event was truly incredible. Got to try out such cool stuff, meet such cool creators. And now I wanna be done with the work part of things and actually have fun here in Hawaii. Thank you guys for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you subscribe and I'll see you again in the next video. Until then, take care.